I'll be going over the ShipStation connector to show you how FarApps connector will sync the order data from Oracle NetSuite ERP into ShipStation for fulfillment. Let's jump right in. You should already have an order in NetSuite that needs to be fulfilled and sent to ShipStation. We will be taking this specific sales order as the example today. The great thing about the FarApp connector is that once you set up the connection between FarApp and NetSuite and FarApp and ShipStation, orders will automatically sync into ShipStation. So when you're in sta ShipStation, all you have to do is click on this refresh button on the top right of the screen. You'll select all stores to update. Then once it's finished, you'll click on this reload button under awaiting shipment. You'll see the order there at the very top once it reloads, waiting to be fulfilled. Just double click it to see the order details in full. You'll notice all the relevant order details are there, including the shipping costs, the product total, the shipping information, etc. Note that all this data is pre-configured and pre-mapped so that you don't have to set these up manually one by one. FarApp will sync all this data by default straight out of the box. For this demo, we don't have any shipping methods set up just yet, so I'll manually ship this out. I would mar manually mark this as shipped, and I will enter the tracking number and carrier myself. Make sure you notify the marketplace by checking this off, and then you click on the Mark as Shipped button. And on the top right of the screen, you'll see the confirmation message. Now you'll notice that the order is no longer on the screen since it's no longer awaiting shipment. It's under the shipped section of ShipStation. Finally, we want to make sure this tracking number was recorded properly in NetSuite. Once I go back into that same sales order and look at the item shipment record, we can see that the correct tracking details were properly recorded into NetSuite. Now, I haven't really shown you the FarApp dashboard, and that's because all this data is being synced in the background seamlessly back and forth. But here's the FarApp dashboard where you have visibility into what's going on in the background. Here, you can see that the order that we had just fulfilled has been completed in full. If you go to the Fulfillment tab on the left menu, you can also see the various shipping methods to set up. In this case, since an order used DHL as the carrier, in my test order, it automatically creates that default shipment record so that you can map that accordingly to the correct shipment method in NetSuite. 